All right, today I'm gonna show you how to make a giant water bead balloon. This is super easy. All you need are some water beads or Orbeez. I like the larger four millimeter type. A large balloon. You can get these on Amazon just like the water beads. I'm gonna use a funnel to help. A bowl to contain my mess just in case we have an accident and our balloon splits. And some water. So again, this is super easy. The only thing you don't see out here, if you want, you can put a little squirt or two of hand sanitizer in there. That's gonna keep it from getting gunky and moldy after a few days. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna end up using these water beads in a plant. Um, so here we go. Insert the funnel into your balloon. Again, I didn't measure out any specific amount here. Just kind of guessing a little bit. And now, I'm going to add quite a bit of water. I have a gallon here. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing. A little mess. Alright. I can see that my balloon's getting full. Alright. You know what? I think I'm going to do this whole gallon. Oh, starting to get a little leaked over. I didn't quite get the whole gallon in there. All right, gonna remove the funnel, tie this off, and we'll check back later and see if we can start seeing our beads absorb the water. And hopefully it works out and we have a giant water bead balloon. All right, this is actually two days later. I wasn't able to get in yesterday. But our water bead balloon has grown significantly. It's really heavy. Remember, we put a gallon of water in this thing. So this is what it looks like. It feels really cool, really weird. You can see the way that all the water beads kind of move around in there. Uh, it's just a fun thing. Really cool to see the uh, water beads, how they expand. And like I said, after I'm done playing with this, I'm going to open this up and use these water beads to... Uh, Maybe do some other experiments. All right, that's it. Jumbo water bean balloon. Give us a like and follow us for more fun videos.